I looked into some uh, interesting typing solutions and there is actually not a typing game but an actual typing tutorial around which I'm gonna be sure to uh, actually try out. We've had typing classes in high school but uh, never really paid much attention to them and now I know I should have. So sprite index, especially now that I'm actually looking at the screen more than I'm looking at the keyboard. So um, uh, image index next y x minus that y minus that Almost working. God damn it. God damn it. It's now gonna do the same thing. I gotta add the plus 5 to it. Why do I need to add plus 5 to everything? Plus 5. Plus 5. It's not like I'm drawing the thing with a 5 fucking. Oh, I know why. I have to draw plus 5 plus 5 because um, the surface. I should actually be recreating with the exact same settings, which I just noticed. So this is that, I guess. Because I add plus 10 plus 10 to the thing. Because I need plus 5 on the left, top, right, and the bottom. Borders. Uh, what is your problem now, you shitbag? I did not read the error message. Symbol expected. Line 86. I draw event action number 3. What? fault on the uh, on the debugger there but you know it's not like it's absolutely untrackable so here we go let's find this window so now the mouse should be unaffected by the lights of the window obviously I think I'm gonna see oh uh, no that actually works out pretty well so that works out great so we've got our our little thing up there so that's always nice all right i actually do like the way this turned out even though we have like a little tiny tiny artifact right there technically we can we can like live live with that in fact i think i might actually um i might actually know how to fix that <laughs> Can't stop doing the Michael Jackson. Um, I think I might actually be able to fix that if I add a little bit of thickness to the sprite, a little bit of width. Uh oh. See, that kind of looks a little awkward. So let me actually go ahead and do that. So I gotta go over here. Instead of just doing anything willy-nilly, I'm just gonna add another another argument right here. Not in the sprite draw. In this one, so eh. Comma two. And this one's just gonna be comma two just for the sake of not having an error thrown in our face. So now this is thick. WD and so this is gonna be argument three. Hold on, no, this is the mouse draw. That's not the oopsie. That's not what I need. I need this one. So this is gonna be argument five. With add. Now the only thing that I really need to add this is body and feet. And I have this right here. So I'm gonna do plus. 
you guys really want to keep up with like different indie games and all kinds of projects and uh, projects that different people are doing, I would highly recommend to get a Twitter account if you don't have one and uh, follow the tags Indie Game Dev or Indie Dev and uh, Indie Game and Indie Developer. Those three tags are pretty much. Oh, it basically looks the right. The only thing is that I actually want to make sure it's a little too fat, just a tiny bit, and there's still a little bit, a bit of bleeding going on over there. Uh, and it's because the top one's being moved down a little bit. It's technically kind of working. It's not, it's not a very pretty solution. Let me see what I can do by, let's see. So this was just the sh shadow. Yeah, this was just the shadow. So let me go ahead and do that to one. In fact, I'm gonna do this. I might as well actually add the Y, Y coordinate and just subtract the the Y coordinates and flip the actual shadow upside down and have it a real full on fucking shadow the way it is supposed to be drawn. I might as well actually even do that as long as I'm on this topic. I might as well do that. Come on.
getting into the area where I have to invert some of these displacers. Fuck. Hand, body, feet. God damn it. Uh, let me let me actually not move it down all that much. There is an upside down version, yes. The problem is I'm not moving everything upside down. If I'm gonna move the candlelight upside down, that means I have to also account for inverting the displacement for the candle. Like where's the fucking shadow first? Oh, I see. So I come right down there, so I need to uh to move this way smaller, but at least the candle is gone, for the most part. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Okay, so, got an odd window, we must now move the window, you little bitch. Okay, for 1220, I'm actually a bit tired. Should be tired at this kind of hour. Okay, here we go. Oh, that is actually pretty good in terms of the shadow. That is actually not bad at all. The only problem is that now I have that displacement over there. Here's what I'm going to do actually I'm going to add another variable. So this will be. One, this will be zero. Now, the one and the zero will determine if this is a shadow. Shadow equals argument seven. Holy shit, we're up to seven arguments now. Okay, so if argument seven, so if this is a shadow. starting to see the little white spots in the middle, so if I'm going to make this any bigger, it's going to really show, because I might actually not even do that, considering at this point we, I can't really do anything about it, um, 
unless I, I go into some heavy ass surface work. Because as you can see, the shadow is now just a little too big. And you can see that it's bleeding to the side, so that does not look great at all. So I might as well just, you know, leave it as one. Leave it a B. We got what we came here for. We've subtracted the mouse and we've subtracted the player. And we added a shadow, which uh, actually looks really cool. Kind of glad I uh, added it. Okay, here we go. So we can allow just a little bit of bleed. I guess it's all right. It's not. It's not an absolute huge thing. So we can actually allow this to happen. Alrighty. So now that we have this figured out, um, hmm. kind of makes me want to add more content, just in terms of furniture. something. Oh, these mirrors, man. These mirrors. Oh, shit. Hold on. If he is around here, I should be able to spot him without the candle. I move far away from him he has disappeared okay beautiful this is actually a good um, this is actually a good mechanic because now the player has to check I mean they're not gonna know about it just straight out of the uh, uh, straight out of the, the, the box but here's what I'm gonna I'm gonna need to do candle uh, shit, I'm gonna need to uh, reset candle generation. Okay, beautiful. Um, now that we have the... Uh, okay, hold on, I need to check. Just make sure he's not around. Good, okay, beautiful. So, this is good. Um, so what I wrote down is to make sure that I don't forget the candle... Uh, generation mechanic. Here we go. We've got our. Uh, man, so much work. So much work goes into these tiny details, tiny little features that just end up making your game way better, right? I mean, within the scope of what this game is, within the scope of the quality that we've achieved so far the amount of work <laughs> an excellent quote that I actually found on um, on Twitter is that as programmers we don't choose to do something because it's easy we choose to do something because we thought it was easy <laughs> which is exactly what I thought of this game when I entered the game jam I come up I came up with an idea live right in the series and um, I made, uh, oh shit, fuck, no, 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 oh fuck, and I made a, I made a, a, con a concept that I thought was going to be easy, and obviously, it was not, well, it was kind of easy, it was just tedious, and uh, all these tiny little fucking imperfections. Okay, I also need to write down sprint penalty. Sprint penalty, okay. I don't need, I don't know why I put the, the underscore there, okay. So yes, it's another thing that I kind of want to, kind of want to, um, want to do is I want to penalize the player for running around. Now, I have two ideas of how to do that. Either when the player 
runs around. Oh fuck no. No 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 no. I don't think the timer has reached that far. Yet. I don't think he's here. No, he's not here. So what I want to do is if the player is running around too much while he's not being haunted, his candle will go out, which is actually an excellent idea. It penalizes players from sprinting around. I do not want players to be sprinting around uh, exploring the level. I actually want to slow down the players to make sure that they're not, they're not like just soaring through the level. I don't want to give them the speed. I only want them to give them the speed when they're running away from the enemy. So that's what I'm going to do, actually. Um, let's see. So. Obviously. Okay, so let, let's do that right now. So since we finished the uh, fixing up the light lighting bug, let's go to the player. Uh, and in the player, we can go to the step event. Ah. Let's see. Mm, I want to go in the inventory actually. Draw inventory. Because it is in the inventory that we draw the thingamadicks. Okay, so first of all, we have the alarm zero here. Now, alarm zero says equipped candle will be equals to false. So, if player is sprinting, oh shit, I forgot to go. If player is sprinting, so I'm gonna go into the inventory and say uh, penalize player for sprinting not running in a hallways little shit bags get back to your desk uh, so we're gonna go if um, so we say keyboard uh, keyboard check so we're gonna have to say if left shift okay left shift is held down and keyboard or and not this but uh, we have a thing here we have a thing here uh, that we use for player controls it's hcom so hcom will be zero if we're not moving so if hcom does not equals to zero which means that we're either moving left or right um this means let's say hcom is a check right so that's good So if left shift is pressed, so we're sprinting and disabled, and we are moving, uh, so I need to add a new variable. Let's see, so we have some here. So sprint penalty equals zero, or yes, equals zero. Sprint penalty timer, just so that I, I know what I'm talking about. So. First of all, else the sprint penalty timer will be always set to zero. But just in case we start sprinting, um, we're gonna add plus plus to the sprint penalty timer. Good. Uh, how are we doing for time? 
on 26 minutes. Okay, that's fine. Now, also, I need to go to the level editor and go to the NPC director values and make sure that there is no hunt in progress going on. Because we do want to let the player run around while they're being hunted down. So we shall only penalize the player if the hunt is in progress or not in progress and they are sprinting for no reasons. Okay. 